numbers. Recent? What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. Which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature, only his effect on us. If they're arguing about what we do next, I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help, even yours, perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? If the enemy is still out there, these questions don't matter. We need soldiers, weapons. Corypheus doesn't care what we believe. Long and the path is dark. 
Look to the sky for one day soon. The dawn will come. The shepherd's lost and his home is far. Keep to the stars. The dawn will come. The night is long and the Corypheus will care. The best answer to powerful lies are certain truths. A word. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. The faith is hard won, Letheline. Worthy of pride. Save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields. The orb he carried. It is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. All right. What is it and how do you know about it? Such things were foci. Said to channel power from our gods. Some were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the Fade, echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Even if we defeat Corypheus, eventually they'll find a way to blame elves. I suspect you are correct. It is unfortunate, but we must be above suspicion to be seen as valued allies. Faith in you is shaping this moment, but needs room to grow. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow, 